While I'm in Bear Lake, I'm pulling out all the stops. I want to make sure you have all the suggestions and recommendations to have a good time here in Bear Lake. One of them, theater. Yes, theater in Bear Lake. Derek, how long have you been doing this? Now, you say this is like your family? Yeah, this theater was built and started in 1977 by my grandparents, uh -huh. actually. They peeled all the logs by hand, pounded the... Counted the nails in, and luckily it's still standing today. Wait, did you just say this is all of your grandparents' furniture and you're just <laughs> repurposing it for a show? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, no, you've done a really good job. I'm looking at it from outside. You, you, you're making me escape. I love that. You're helping me escape into another world. And that's what theater really is about, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, since doing this 40 years ago, our goal's always been to provide somewhere where families can come together and create memories together. And since that's been passed down to my mom and my family has been involved, there's seven kids in my family, and we're all involved in the business in some different way. Uh, that's what it's continued to do, is be a place where families can come and laugh and enjoy it. How, how have you guys been affected by COVID? Are you having any shows? Are you any shows? I mean, it's really hard with the current situation. You know what I'm saying? Sure, yeah. Theaters have been hit harder than, than a lot of different industries. But uh, it's uh, we decided to continue our show, you know, under the restrictions and guidelines from local health officials this summer. And we just closed our summer, summer production of Finding the Fickle Fortune. And next week, we open a brand new production of The Addams Family that runs through October. Okay, see, now, now if, if anybody who loves theater hears that news, they're like, oh, what? I, I, I gotta go. Is it a limited showing? How, what, how long is the, how many shows? Yeah, so it just plays weekends. We have 16 performances scheduled right now. It opens September 25th and then plays weekends through October 24th. Do not sleep on Pickleville. I'm telling you, from the time you walk in through the door, you guys are really taking care to make sure they have a good experience, even if they're coming here for vacation. You know, they happen to catch a great show. Yep. A lot of people have cabins up here. If not, there's a lot of places to stay in and come just enjoy the fall weather up here. The leaves are beautiful, so it's a great place to come spend the week. I think the real question we need to ask Derek is, when when does he plan to take over the business? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, Grandpa. Didn't didn't mean to ask a sore subject. Sorry about that. Uh, to get tickets, to get any information, maybe even a future audition to Pickleville, where do you want to send them? Absolutely, yeah. PicklevillePlayhouse.com. That has all of our information, our schedule for our performances, and you can grab tickets right there on our website. And is it the Adams Family that we know and love? Yeah, absolutely, yep. It's the... the the Broadway production of The Adams Family that we've put our own Pickleville style into, and uh, a lot of my family's actually involved in the show. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's a family affair for sure. In the front, on the stage, and behind the scenes, that's what they have for you. We'll put a link on our website to make it super easy, fox13now.com. Don't forget to click on the place. My man, thank you so much. Yes. All right. Break a leg. You have to say that. You can't, you can't leave this place without saying that. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, B. You've seen him up there. He's been hanging out, and, of course, we got to talk about our contest. All you have to do is go to fox13now.com slash contest and enter for a chance to win a trip to for two to the Water's Edge Resort at Bear Lake. This includes a two-night stay with $100 to spend at Cody's Gastro Garage.